If you are going to configure your Gmail account on a third-party client application, like Microsoft Outlook with POP3 or IMAP protocol, then I will recommend that, before starting the practical section, read and understand the below points carefully. Let me share this with you, that I will be using Microsoft Outlook 2019 for this tutorial. If you are using the old version of Microsoft Outlook, then don't worry, the procedure is the same for all versions of Microsoft Outlook. The only difference between the old versions of Outlook and Outlook 2019 is that, in the old version, you have to type the incoming and outgoing mail server addresses along with port numbers, protocol type and credentials manually. While in Microsoft Outlook 2019, you only have to type your Gmail credentials and select the protocol type, then rest of the settings will be done by Outlook 2019 itself, which means you don't have to worry about the incoming and outgoing mail server addresses and port numbers. Next, we will discuss Gmail accounts and their security. In the old days, it was very simple to configure a Gmail account on any third-party application like Microsoft Outlook. In the beginning, all you had to do was enter your credentials along with incoming and outgoing server addresses and generic port numbers. Later on, Google said that a user needs to enable protocol, POP or IMAP, from Gmail account settings first, then a user can configure its Gmail account on a third-party application using the specific protocol which is enabled by the user. After some time, Google introduced another way called, Less Secure App. It was disabled by default, which means a user needs to enable the specific protocol and also enable this less secure app option in the Gmail settings before configuring a Gmail account on a third-party application. Without enabling the less secure app option, a user couldn't configure an account on a third-party application. Now the latest way that Google introduced is called third-party app password means that a user needs to generate a random password for any third-party application which Gmail account will be configured on. This randomly generated password can be used only once, and it will be stored in Gmail settings. If a user doesn't want to use that third-party application anymore, then the user can delete that stored password from Gmail settings. It is to be noted that a user must enable two-step verification also known as two-factor authentication, before generating a random password. Although this method is not recommended, at least your original password will be safe and secure, because you don't have to use your original password but the randomly generated password when configuring a Gmail account on any third-party application. So, if, in a case that your password is compromised, then all you need to do is, just delete that specific password for that third-party application from Gmail settings. So, no one with that password will be enabled to log in to your account. Now after a little discussion above, let's proceed towards the practical section. I will be covering the following steps one by one in this video so that you will understand how you would easily configure your account on Microsoft Outlook 2019. Step 1. Enable protocol in Gmail settings, POP or IMAP. Step 2. Enable two-step verification or two-factor authentication for your Gmail account. Step 3. Generate a random password for a third-party app. Step 4. Configure Gmail account on Outlook 2019. I will show you what error in the beginning we get while configuring a Gmail account on Outlook, without making any changes in the Gmail settings. To configure a Gmail account on Outlook, go to Start, and type Outlook in the search box. Click on the Outlook app and then wait for the Outlook app to open. Enter your email address. Click on, Advanced Options. Check the, checkbox. 
which says, let me set up my account manually. Then click on the connect button. This is a menu where you have to select the protocol type. So, choose the protocol type. I am going to the POP protocol, hence we'll click on POP. On the next page, enter the original password of your Gmail account and then click on the Connect button. Now Outlook will try to configure your Gmail account, but it won't be able to do so. The reason is that I did not make any changes in the Gmail settings as yet, which I mentioned before in this video. Click on the cancel button and then close the Outlook app. Now without wasting further time, let's begin the step-by-step -step changes that we need to make in Gmail settings to configure a Gmail account on Outlook successfully. Step 1. Enable POP protocol in Gmail settings. Open any web browser and type in the search bar, www.google.com, then press the enter button. You can also click on the Gmail option on the top right side of the browser, if available. Enter your Gmail address, and then click on, next, button. Enter your password, and then click on, Next, button. You will be logged in into your account. After successfully log in to your account, click on the, Settings, button or, Gear, like button on the top right side of the page. Then click on the See All Settings button. On the Settings page, click on the Forwarding and POP slash IMAP tab. You can see that it shows the status disabled for both of the protocols POP and IMAP. Since we will be using the POP protocol, so choose the one option to enable the POP protocol. By choosing the first option, Gmail will allow Outlook to download all the emails from the inbox. By all emails means, the email which are already in the Gmail inbox plus the emails which will be received after enabling the protocol. By choosing the second option, Gmail will allow Outlook to download only the emails which will be received after enabling this option. Choose your desired option. I am going to select the first option and then click on the Save Changes button on the bottom to save the configurations. Step 1 is completed. Step 2. Enable two-step verification or two-factor authentication. Let me tell you that without enabling two-step verification, a user cannot proceed to step 3. So, to enable two-step verification, First go to your Gmail account. Click on your profile picture or icon which is on the top right side of the page. In the drop down menu, click on, manage your Google account. The account management page will open. Click on the, security, tab on the left side of the page. Scroll down to, Sign in to Google, Options and check for the status of two-step verification. As you can see the status says, two-step verification is off, means, it is not yet enabled or activated. To enable two-step verification, click on it. On the next page, scroll down and click on the, Get Started, button on the right bottom of the page. On the next page, 
Choose the country, and type your phone number according to the format. In the below options, you have two options. You can request Google to either send you a text message including the code or to call on your number and the operator will tell you the code. I am choosing the text option. After choosing the text message option, click on next. On this page, type the code that you will receive on your mobile number and then click on next. This is the page where you will be asked to turn on two-step verification. So click on the turn on option and the two-step verification will turn on. To verify, go to the security tab again. Scroll down and check the status of two-step verification. As you can see, the green check mark sign is there now, which means it is turned on now. So, two-step verification is done as well. Step 3 Generating Third-Party Applications Password To generate a third-party app's password, again go to Gmail and click on the profile picture or icon. In the drop-down menu, click on manage your Google account. On this page, click on the security tab. Now scroll down and go to the sign in to Google option. Click on the two step verification option, which we enabled before. Scroll down and click on the App Password option. Read the instructions first. These are the same instructions which I shared with you in the start of this video. Now click on the App Password option. On this page, you have to select the app which is already there or you can add a custom name as per your third-party application's name. I am here to type a custom name, so I will select the option named Other Custom Name. Then I am going to type Outlook. Note, you can type any name like BRTG, FSRM or anything according to the third-party application that you are going to generate this random password for. So don't worry about the custom name. And now I click on the Generate button to generate a random password for my Outlook. The random password is generated. This is the password, which we will be using while configuring our Gmail account on Outlook. Just copy this password and paste into any text editor app like Notepad or Microsoft Word because we will need this password when configuring a Gmail account on Outlook. Click on Done. As you can see this password for a third-party app is stored in Gmail settings here. If you, for any reason, don't want to use your Gmail account on your Outlook or you lost the device which you configured your Gmail account on. Then don't worry, all you have to do is delete that specific password for a specific application from here. Hence no one with this password, if someone even has it, won't be able to log in to your Gmail account. Step 3 is also completed. Step 4. Configuring Gmail account on Outlook. To open Outlook, click on the Start button or type Outlook in the search box. Click on the Outlook application and wait for the Outlook to open. Type your email address.
Click on Advanced Options and then check the checkbox, which says let me set up my account manually. Click on the Connect button. Select the protocol type POP or IMAP. Since I am going to configure my Gmail account using POP protocol, so I will click on POP. On this page, we will enter the random password which we generated previously in step 3. We will open the notepad and will copy the password from the notepad. Now paste the password here. Do not type the original password of your Gmail account. Click on the connect button and then wait for your Gmail account to be configured on Outlook. As you can see, our Gmail account has been added successfully using POP protocol. Uncheck the checkbox which says, set up Outlook mobile on my phone too. Click on the done button. The Outlook application will open. As you can see that all the emails have been downloaded, even the previous emails which were already in my Gmail inbox. Now, we are going to test the configurations by sending and receiving an email. So I will just send a test email to my own Gmail account. Click on Send Receive button to sync your Gmail account. If you do not click on the Send Receive button, then your account will be synchronized after a predefined time schedule. Normally by default Outlook synchronizes an account after 30 minutes, which we can set as per our requirement as well. As you can see, I received the test email successfully which means the settings are working fine. That's it, if you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.